Rolling. Hey guys, welcome to another fun episode of Forking with Guruji. I'm back at RE Rental with uh, one of my favorite RE cameras, the 435 Extreme, the last iteration of its kind. Beautiful camera. Um, as always, RE movement, simple, clean. Um, now, the first thing you want to do before you open the, the movement is make sure that these two lines match up. Otherwise, when you try and open it, first you'll feel resistance, and if you actually get past it, you're going to have to send that camera back for service. So here we go, and then this opens easily. And in the morning, you would check a couple of things. You would check the pressure plate to make sure that there's no um, dirt, dust, or stuff on that. Do that, you would depress this lever here and pull this pressure plate out which not the easiest thing to do but oh yeah. and then you would check and make sure that's clean which it is it looks beautiful slip that back in there this is not something you do regularly but nice little click and then what we call in the film day is the gate this is actually the gate this comes out and this is the gate now, you wouldn't normally check this gate by pulling it out in the middle of a shot because if there is something, you will dislodge it while pulling it out. So the way to check the gate would be through the front of the lens or the mount. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is the gate. And then this back here is the mask. This, is, you would, this mask would be designed or built according to what format you are shooting. So as of now, we can see this is a 133 mask, which is pretty standard. Um, this gate goes back in here and this lever comes up that's in there now to load the film take the mag nice loop you would put the put the movement back in place put the mag on top pull it through make sure there's you pull it all the way through because if you try and clip it in like this sometimes and there's a bit you're going to pinch that and break that off and then that you, you're not going to be able to use it so you're going to have to send that mag back for respool so make sure it's all pulled in and then click it in that's good move the film up a little bit open the gate slightly pull the film out get it over there under there now you can open the gate all the way and then we're gonna um, push that film up to the top and you can see on the top there, inside the camera, there's a little white mark. Oops, went right there. Uh, all right. Yeah, in the camera, you see that white mark up there? The film wants to be just intersecting that mark or right at that mark. So get the film like somewhere in that area where it's just intersecting the mark. And then it should be good. There's a little yellow um, clip in here, which you can see that little yellow clip that go, a perf goes into that to kind of secure the film. You close the movement, then you roll it, make sure that it's, there's nothing stuck a couple of times. Then you can press this button as the phase button, do the same thing electronically. That's good. Give it a quick spin. Everything sounds good, no catching, no scratching. And then that's the film counter. So to reset that, oops, wrong one. And wrong one. Wrong one. It's fun stuff. Okay, so to set, set the film counter, you hold the last button down where it says set for a couple of seconds. That resets to zero. Close the gate, I mean the door, lock it, and then you're good to go. Now, what it looks like on the inside, this is what's happening inside the mag. As you can see, film is being transported through the camera, running through there, going all the way through, and then spooling up on this side. Now, you can adjust the pitch. This really sounds good, but I'll show you, you can hear what happens. barely hear it but makes a small difference it's just it's this is super clean so that's basically how you would load a 435 map and that's what's happening on the inside hope you enjoyed this video and the next one's going to be a super fun one where you go high frame rate